PID stands for proportional, interval, and derivative. When you start out tuning, your P needs to be around 200, your I needs to be at zero, and your D needs to be at zero. If you were to start out with your P setting at zero, your quadcopter would fly kind of like this. Once your P gain is at the proper level, your quadcopter should start to be pretty stable at this point. But if you keep turning your gain up, it's going to start shaking extremely fast. So that's when you know when to turn it down so that it's nice and stable. Once your gain settings for proportional have been tuned, now you can move on to I, which is interval. It is possible to fly without any I gain, but if any outside force like wind pushes it, it won't know to actually go back. So for example, if there's wind or if your quadcopter isn't balanced, it's just gonna keep going. But if your I is actually higher than your P and the wind pushes it, then it will actually overcorrect instead of getting back to where it was. Usually I keep my I gains just a little bit lower than my P gain. The last parameter is the D setting. With your P and I setting set, your quadcopter should fly pretty good. But when you make aggressive maneuvers like this, you should notice that your quadcopter is going to wobble a little bit, like kind of like that. That's what your D setting is for. If you keep turning your D setting up from zero and just keep turning it up, eventually, instead of doing this, it will do this. It'll look really rock solid. If your D setting is too high though, it'll be very unresponsive and mushy feeling. So instead of being rock solid like this, it'll be more like this. It'll be like blah. So that's probably the easiest way I can explain it. Hopefully this video helped. You should always tune your P, then your I, then your D.